Okay guys, here we go. End of the game cutscene. God help us all. Seriously. One last look. Everyone is friendly. The room is now glowing well, not blue anymore. And this doohickey, whatever the hell, is still red. I do not understand what that is. <coughs> so where are the temples? You want me to ask you? Or think it or something. Sure, you asked him the right thing. I know this, I know that symbol. That, that's a Phrygian cap. It stands for freedom. And that, that's a Masonic eye. Now those two come together in only one place. What's that? Apple, I can't move. Your DNA communes with the apple. You have activated it. Uh, let me go. On the 72nd day before the moment of awakening, you Words from our loins and the loins of our enemies. The end and the beginning will be of war and honor. The final journey commences. There is one who would accompany you through the gate. She lies not within our sight. The cross darkens the horizon. What are you doing? The path must be opened. And on a safe or part of this, the tails shall be balanced. Yes, I know, you guys. You have to flick the control stick, or. Yes, you do. <coughs> My very soul hurts right now. Stop, please! My very soul hurts. I wanted to crawl into a corner and not come out when I saw this. You know very little. We must guide you. Remember how I said it freezes time? Yeah. Rebecca and Sean have no idea what's going on. Now that is Lucy. Cease your struggle. <coughs> I kind of hate myself right now. No. Fuck you, Juno. I hate you so much. Done. The way lies all before you. Only she remains to be found. Awaken the six. Go alone. Notice the apple. Just keep, just remember where it landed there. So yes, that is the end. I'm sure everyone's feeling the same way as me. We're all confused. <coughs> We're all confused. Um, we don't know if Lucy will live or not. Like, why did Juno do that? Why did she make Desmond do that? Like... <laughs> Shit, he's 
just gonna have to shock. Put him back in the machine. It's the only way to fix this. But the animus did this to him. Am I the expert or not? Do it. No. There we go. So... Uh, from this, now I'm even more confused. Like, I don't know... Again, I'll show you guys the end of the, um, Da Vinci Disappearance after the game version. Like, is Lucy still a Templar, kind of? Like, is she, like, a double agent who's still working for Abstergo and is it all just an act? Like, or is it blood, or is she still tainted by the Templars or something? I, I don't know. Or is she simply a distraction from whoever this Eve chick is? Like, what the fuck is up with that still? <coughs> like, you, you will come here, you will activate it, and you will know only when it is too late. Does she, when she said that, does she mean what just happened right now? So, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what the hell she's talking about. She, do not convert in a fire, by the way. Do not convert in a fucking fire. I hate her. <coughs> That's not, it's not explained why this happens. We have to wait till, I guess, Assassin's Creed 3 comes out. I think that's the one they're working on now. I don't think it's going to be another side game. I think maybe it will be. Maybe it'll be a side game. And it'll have, like, all the events leading right up to, like, the satellite launch or something. I don't know. Or maybe it will be Assassin's Creed 3 and it'll be the end. I do know they want to, um, they want to keep making Assassin's Creed games. So maybe they'll finish, like, Desmond's story and, like, any other, um, things. Like, any other games they make will be showing, like, different characters or something, and how they handle all this going on right now? I don't know. Maybe. <clears throat> when she said the cross darkens the horizon, I've read about that comic, The Fall, and, like, the main character, Daniel Cross, is... I think he's an assassin, but he was captured by Templars, and something was put into his brain, or something that would make him only want to kill the master, like, head assassin, like, present day stuff, so I don't know if maybe they'll bring that comic book character into the next game, I don't know, maybe. My mind is blown, by the way, my, again, my mind is blown. <sighs> oh my god. Now, I have a lot of, I have an entire Word document here, um, and I'll tell you guys that in the video after I upload the Da Vinci, like, intro, outro, after game version, just so you guys can see that, and then we'll be talking about a lot of stuff. <clears throat> like, I have, like, two pages full of, like, notes and things I want to talk to you guys about. So this speedrun is officially done. Again, the next game is just thoughts, like afterthoughts and stuff. Oh my god. And again, even Juno mentioned, like, on the 72nd day that you were born from us and our enemies. Now, is that... I think that means them the god peoples and humans. Like, not maybe not necessarily like Templars or whatever, but I think just humans in general. <clears throat> wow. But as you guys saw, that's why I want to keep going into Evil Vision and looking at the gang. Like, everyone up until the very end is still friendly. Like, even from that email where, uh, Will's like, 
don't share this information with Lucy or Sean, both of them are still glowing blue. You know what I mean? Like, so I don't really know what's going on. <coughs> I don't think the I don't think anyone's a traitor here in the in the group, but I definitely believe, for example, like Lucy's not telling us everything. I think she's hiding something. Um, but I don't know what that is. So apparently Rebecca and Sean have not seen the assassins hideout, like the headquarters. Lucy has, obviously. Oh, it better be cool, you guys. It better be cool. Like, it better be like an ancient like Irish castle or something. Or a mansion or something. <clears throat> that wouldn't be something really awesome. <coughs> now, when you when this last fade in scene appears, take a look at Lucy and um, the apple. Okay, keep a look at that. I don't. Hopefully, it'll show up here because it's about to come in. Look at the pool of blood. Um, we'll, let's see if it's gone or not. If it is gone, then maybe she's healed herself with it because it's still glowing and she's touching it. You guys will see, she's touching it. <clears throat> anyway, um, stuff. Again, with the DLC things, um, uh, the one I'll post right after this, um, is this all memories of Desmond? Like, Desmond reviewing, like, his own memories, like, in the present? Or something? Are they looking for something in the present? Just how it ends? Just how this last final itty bitty scene ends? <coughs> um, pardon me, I keep coughing. Um, yeah, just how this scene ends. Like it ends, kind of like a memory ends, how it fades out really bright like that. Yeah, just, just keep that in mind. Is this all a memory? Is this an illusion? Like when Al Mualim stabbed Al Tair, that was an illusion. Except this is the same apple here. Mind control and illusions and stuff. So is this all... Maybe something to scare Desmond or threaten him? Like, like, June is like, if you don't do what I say or what I, what we want, like, we're gonna kill those closest to you. Starting with Lucy, I don't know. Crazy. Crazy everywhere. <clears throat> So many credits. I do like this song, but I did like how it played when we're controlling Desmond at the very end there, and we had to stab her. Just didn't really like that. I liked it when we were fighting Cesare and like getting like running up to him. That was cool. Age rating manager. Age rating coordinator. Oh. <coughs> Come on. 